Hey all, hope you are well. Welcome to my channel, Sri World Coding. In today's video, I am going to deploy our Flask app using uh, Docker, Nginx, Unicorn, etc. So, let's begin. So, uh, as you all know, uh, Flask is one of the web, from web framework of Python. Unicorn is, uh, uh, you can say, as a web server where we can uh, deploy a Python uh, application. It's basically a WSGI server. Nginx is an open source server which you can use for reverse proxy and load balancing and docker you can say uh, it's a containerized platform uh, tool that is used to bind all your code uh, leverage and dependency into a separate container and that you can deploy and use so let's begin so inside this you can see uh, uh, i have a file wsgi.py so it's a simple flask uh, app so as you can check, uh, whenever you it will uh, you will hit local host, it will return welcome to my channel, three world coding. So let's check uh, whether my file is running correctly or not. Okay. So as you can see, uh, my Flask app is running correctly. So let's stop it. Uh, I can even show you requirements.txt file in this. I have put uh, Flask and Unicorn as the dependency that I'm going to install. So let's dockerize our flask app. So click on vim docker file. So let's start coding. I'm going to use base image as python 3.9 slim. I'm going to set work dir as slash app. Um, I'm going to copy all my files which are present inside my current working directory to slash app. I'm going to install all the uh, libraries so .txt. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, run my Flask app on Unicorn server. So uh, Unicorn, I'm I'm binding my application on port 5000 to an object known as app so wsgi is the file name and app is the flask object so let's check oops i haven't opened for using a root privileges let's open with sudo and let's paste it here and then now let's save it okay so now you can see inside my directory we have docker file requirements.txt and wsgi.py now let's create a docker compose file again docker compose dot yml uh, so let's start coding docker compose dot yml i'm going to use use version 3 services my source services na uh, service name will be app and i'm going to build my flask app context app and it will be listen on port 5000 so let's check uh, whether i have coded my docker compose file correctly or not so let's click on sudo docker compose up so as you can see uh, my docker file is being run so first it will check whether uh, my python uh, 3.0 slim image is present or not it's already present so it is caching it it's installing my flask and unicorn that i have uh, defined inside my requirements.txt and uh, now at last it's binding running unicorn server on port 5000 so let's open it okay so 
my unicorn server is running and my docker container is listening on port uh, 5000 so let's stop the docker container so as you can see only one uh, docker container is running with name nginx deploy app hyphen one uh, underscore one okay when you click on docker ps okay let me uh, let me up the container again okay uh, let me zoom in a bit uh, so do docker yes okay as you can see only one uh, container is running with this container id okay so let me start uh, stop it and let uh, scale our number of containers that are running okay you can see that now no container is being run so we can scale using docker compose uh, up uh, let's run in as mode and uh, scale hyphen hyphen we can take also help of the documentation and you can see uh, scale scale to number of instances scale our app to number of three so it will run three uh, docker containers now okay so our scale failed so why as you can see we are binding port 5000 of our uh, local computer to docker container so what's happening 5000 is being mapped to uh, app 1 now uh, the 5000 port is not available for container 2 and container 3 so for uh, app 1 it shows success and after that error so now let's uh, do some changes in in docker compose that file and let's what do let uh, docker decide to which port to map to now let's scale our app okay now you can see that deployment of app 1 is successful app 2 is successful and app 3 is successful let's again run docker ps you can see our three apps are running and as you can see um, it's it's mapped to 49164 163 and 162 so basically our three containers are running and each container is listening on the, these three ports so let me copy this as you can see when i will click on this it will show error but let me paste it okay you can see our port is listening listening and two so our three containers are listening from these ports so here comes the concept of nginx so we are going to deploy our flask app on nginx server so that it can uh, load balance our uh, flask app and prevent unwanted using of ports do some changes in docker compose dot file so uh, what i will do uh, i've already written the code i will just copy paste it to save our time so what i will do it uh, in docker compose or fireman i am creating a new service name as nginx it will use the image nginx.latest and nginx uses a config file known as nginx.conf so i am doing a mapping depend on uh, tells that nginx will only start after the deployment or uh, flask app on unicorn server so it shows it will run after it and i am mapping to port 80 so it will listen on port 80 nginx server nginx server will listen on port 80 let me save it and uh, 
we have to also create a file sudo nginx dot conf so let me copy paste i will explain you what's what i've written here so inside events there is number of worker connection so it can accept up to 1000 connection so my nginx uh, after that inside server there is a listen so my nginx server will listen on port 80 and it will my port 80 will map to uh, docker url uh, our docker app which listens on port 5000 so this is the configuration now let's again scale our app so now um, let's run our docker compose so uh, uh, with this command i have added a build command so what it will do it will refresh from scratch so as you can see our three apps are running and the one service in Unix that i have added is being added here so let's check uh, whether my apps are running or not so earlier it was rising, uh, running on port 5000 so docker does not allow to connect to it but now our apps are uh, running on localhost with port 80 so, all right. so you can check that our apps are configured correctly and are running so through this you can deploy our your python code using uh, unicorn which acts as a virtual server use uh, nginx that is okay you can use for uh, load balancing and docker compose that is uh, combining all the talks uh, task and running at once so hope you enjoy the video kindly like and subscribe to my, to my channel have a nice day